Hey everybody, what's going on? Happy New Year to you. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics, and this video is going to be the three things that robotic teachers make as mistakes. Now, if you see the word mistake and think that's a bad thing, that's probably maybe one of your first mistakes. Don't ever think of a mistake as a bad thing. Think of it as something that you can use to make yourself better and to learn from. I mean, that's what we expect from the students, right? So taking the word mistake, shift it now to just a word that means I learn from something and I become smarter and better for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with number three. Here we go. It is feeling like you're an island unto yourself. Now, here's what I mean by that is robotic teachers sometimes think, and I think it might be all teachers think, you know, it is me and it is my students and I need to be above them. I need to teach them. They need to learn from me. And that's not the way it should go. And especially with robotics, you need to be a community with your students where the students and the teacher are all working together towards a mission, towards a goal, towards something to accomplish. It needs to be where you guys are working together to get something done. It is not, I'm going to do this. I'm going to teach them. They're going to learn from me and we're separate. It can't work that way. It, I, I actually started off thinking that and it was a complete disaster. Um, you can't work where you feel like you're isolating yourself from your students. You have to work together. Number two is not allowing students to learn for themselves. Now, I think all teachers might have this in them where they feel like I need to tell them what to do. I need to tell them too much and make it super easy for them. And I've noticed that that doesn't work either. Especially with robotics, you want the students to learn from just messing up. You need to have them learn from taking um, a problem and maybe having it become a one day, a two day, maybe a week long thing that they work through and finally they figure it out for themselves. But they need to learn perseverance. They need to learn hard work. They need to learn trying a bunch of things and finally figuring it out for themselves. They're never going to learn anything if you just start hand feeding them things and they're like, oh, well, sweet. I don't have to think. I don't have to problem solve because the teacher is going to tell me everything. So it needs to be something where you step back and go, I might give you some questions to think about. Uh, I might ask you to look at it a different way, but I'm definitely not going to tell you the answer. And the number one thing that I think all robotic teachers do as a mistake is feeling like you have to know everything. You don't. And especially, and if it's your first, maybe even your second year, you are going to know absolutely nothing. You're going to walk in there and I, I get what you might be thinking. Like if you're in a math class and you ask a teacher a question like, hey, how do you solve this equation? And if they don't know, you're in some trouble. And I get that. But if you're in robotics and you're a first year, second year teacher, you need to give yourself a break, okay? Mr. Hino is, just, is gonna give you a break right now. You're gonna learn things as they come. If somebody comes up to you with a problem, you're gonna say, let's learn this together. It's not gonna be one of those, I need to know it right now, I need to know the answer, I need to give them all of the solutions. It's easy to think that way, um, try not to think that way. Think of it as, hmm, let's figure this out together. Let's learn this together so that way you're not making yourself feel stressed out and pressured to know everything all at once. And it's just one of those things where you're going to have to just get used to it. Get used to saying, hmm, that's a great question. And you know what? Your students will actually feel smarter for it. Like, hey, I asked the teacher something that they didn't know. And then they're going to feel that community that I was talking about where you guys work together and figure it out. And then you're all going to be better for it. At the end of the day, you're going to sit back and go, we figured this out together as a team. Okay. So hopefully you can take those three things and just, you know, push them forward in this 2019 year 
and make it a part of your just routine to, you know, work together. And it's just going to be one of those things where you don't let robotics become this overwhelming thing. If you can just do one thing a day, maybe just concentrate on learning one thing a day. Can you imagine uh, in a 180 day school year, how many things you'll learn? So it's just going to be one of those things where you nibble each day. Let me learn how to do this. Let me learn how to do this the next day. And that way you'll take the pressure off yourselves. Okay. Hopefully that helps. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Neal's Lego Robotics. I'm out.